So today I want to build a pre-filter for my two horsepower dust collection system. And the reason I want to do that is because when I'm using the thing to vacuum the shop floor, I'm picking up large chunks of wood and they'll get stuck inside of this metal screen that's in here that prevents uh, large particles from going into the vacuum system and getting stuck in the impeller. And that would cause it to go out of balance and all kinds of wear and tear on the impellers. But um, what I want to do is take this 31 gallon metal trash can that I just bought and take these two PVC 4 inch elbows and mount them inside of the lid here and make a cyclone collection system out of this lid. And I'm going to go ahead and put that together and see how it works. So let's get started on this. So what I want to do is uh, take the Dremel and cut holes in the lid of the metal trash can. but. I'm going to wear leather gloves so that I don't cut myself on the sharp edges of the metal when I'm cutting it. And of course safety goggles and hearing protection because it's going to be loud. And let's go ahead and do the hole cutting. So what I've done is I've taken a sharpie and then I've marked around these uh, two pieces of PVC pipe on the lid. And I'm going to take the Dremel and cut a hole in the lid here. So let me go ahead and cut that hole in the lid and then We'll look at how and see these uh, pieces of PVC fit in the uh, lid. So I just finished dremeling the two holes and you can see the pipe actually fits pretty decent in the hole. I just need to get a little bit of the file and uh, I'm going to glue them in. So let's get going with that. So I just press fitted the uh, PVC pipes into those holes that I cut. I actually didn't end up filing them, but um, what I'm going to do next is epoxy these into place so that they won't um, come out. But this is the shape I was going for. So when you put it in the can, that the vacuum side will be coming in one side and then the um, going back to the blower will be going this way and these are facing opposite directions so the air coming in from the vacuum will be coming this way and it will swirl around and then the large particles should dump, dump out in the middle and settle into the bottom of the can but uh, only getting this thing together and testing it out will tell me if it really works. So I'm done epoxying the PVC pipes into the lid here and what I'm going to do is take a piece of this flex hose and cut off maybe about a three or four foot section of it and I'll glue one end into the output side of the pre-filter and then the other side will attach to the input of the dust collection system. Well here's something fun. I found out that the sour cream or the cottage cheese containers fit right inside of these four inch PVC pipes perf uh, perfectly. So I'm going to actually attach the uh, hose to these so that I can just put them in and out. Um, see how well that works. Okay, so I just want to show you what I did here is uh, I cut the sour cream and the cottage cheese container and then epoxied it to the hose and it just press fits right into these four inch PVCs. And here's the other one. And I can just quickly connect this whole system together. So the next thing I want to do is go test vacuum the shop. I um, emptied the plastic bag out just to see how much material we get in there versus how much we're going to get in the can. The can's empty. But I'm going to go set it up, vacuum the shop out a little bit, and then show you guys what we have for results. I just finished vacuuming a small section of the shop out and I want to see, I, sh I vacuumed as much debris as I could that was stuff I would have avoided before and let's see what's inside of the can. It actually separated out a lot of stuff. Um, there's chunks of metal in here, chunks of wood, paper towels, Let's see what's actually in the bag. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but pretty much there is just a 
handful of fine dust inside the bag. So I'd have to say that this was very successful. Anyways, uh, if you found this video helpful or you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I have more videos on the way. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.